Um, there's one golf course. The main way you get into it is under like an overpass through a tunnel, which is, I've never in my life considered whether I can enter a tunnel. The uh, van that we were driving was taller than the tunnel. <laughs> Short and simple, shorts look ridiculous on men. Whoa! You shouldn't be showing off the calves. I just think it looks I think it's a ridiculous look. <laughs> Where did you hear this from? Where did you come from? Yeah, like a, a, a 1.15 <laughs> in the afternoon Wednesday work blizzard. Sports, and we find ourselves in yet a, another hotel room. <laughs> um, it's a traveling circus. It's a traveling <laughs> band, and uh, we sit here in the dark. Room two six four five. Right now, doing a podcast. Boston Sports. Last day. Um, we are here right now in Vancouver. Doozy of a trip. Good trip. Got a whole lot of content, as we spoke about a bit on the last podcast. And most importantly, outside of content, we have a massive Chinese order coming in. Joey D, why don't you tell us what you ordered for our fat asses? I don't remember. There's a lot of stuff. I wrote it down. Well, why don't you, you take a look. Talk to them. Read it and weep. You want me to read the yeah, order? Yeah, I want to hear what we have going on here tonight. All right. Let me see here. All right. Um, The boys tonight, minus Perez, because he's not going to, oh, he's going to do his own thing. We're doing uh, Shanghai chow mein noodles. We're doing an order of Yan Chow Deluxe Fried Rice. Like that. Uh, two orders of pan-fried pork dumplings. That's and a fall. Move. I might have a dumpling. Two orders of spring rolls. Give me the free throw. Yeah. Uh, an order of braised string beans with dry chili. Technical okay. fall. Uh, one order of sweet and sour boneless pork. For Bang. three. <laughs> We're going to do an order of Szechuan style prawns. Puts it in. Sure yeah. And finally, we're rounding up with an order of soy spiced beef. Cutsy for the corner for three and one. <laughs> this is coming from Shanghai River Restaurant in Richmond, Vancouver. Well, you talk, you've talked a lot Richmond, about BC. the Chinese in, in Vancouver, and yeah. I've heard all about it, and I didn't think we were going to get it. Well, the fact that we're, we're staying in Richmond, too, this is like the capital. And it's like, Judgment Day. It is. Well, uh, the, here's the only thing. The only thing that I worry about, and I'm actually not even that concerned about it, is because it's coming close. Traveling. Well, traveling, but it's only Avery's picking it up. It's only a block away, so we're doing a pickup order. Right. It's Why a block that bad? away. No, I'm saying I'm not too concerned. Normally, oh, with the oh, to oh. go, sometimes if it's sitting for a while or whatnot, but Avery's going to be there picking it up at pretty much as soon as it's dropped off, and it's a block away from the hotel that we're staying at. So I actually I have very high hopes. I looked at this restaurant, um, the website, and I saw the menu items. I, I feel, and I talked to the lady at the front desk. She she recommended it. I feel like this is going to be a banger. I do want to say, Joseph. Yeah. I think you did a tremendous job with the trip. I really did. Wow. I did too. I, very really nice. Did. It was it was hosted very well. Uh, the courses were all ready to go. It was everybody had a good time. It was. We had no business being in that club last night. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. The yeah. old mojo. That was a mistake. And Longhorn Saloon. Yeah. We got for Jet's birthday, that Jet wasn't there for. Oh, it was called church, right? I ditched my Sunday own birthday. Mojo's. Yeah, yeah, Sunday mojos. Go to church, baby. <laughs> We it's went, funny because you're going to church. You're like a local there, also. You're like a local yeah. here, and you're a local there. Yeah. yeah. So you know. Talk to like would come by me and be like, oh yeah, I used to play with Joel. Back <laughs> yeah. Play with Joel. Well, like, Graham, Graham came out with us. He used to run that town in Whistler. Graham Page. He was great, and like the most Canadian thing ever, wearing a Toronto Blue Jays jersey. I was going to say the same yeah. thing. I never have seen somebody <laughs> show up to dinner. Not only some Vlad Guerrero Jr. In a Toronto, yeah. Kind of like back. It was so uh, you know, the biggest thing that I was really happy about is just like everybody really, everybody took really good care of us. Like from all of the courses to like, you know, just in general, like every, everybody from start to finish was super, super like just accommodating and hospitable you know the lunches beforehand you know meeting chef rob feeney in vancouver golf club was super cool and doing that and then like you know just even like nicholas we played how many i'm not going to say how many holes we played but we were there till dark and they were super accommodating like the the cart guys or the the club guys at the front were sat back like 
it was really cool. Like everybody really took such great care of us, which is what I was really hoping for. And I hope it gave you guys a little insight that Canada's not really that much different from Chef, the States. Chef Rob Feeney put together a yeah. sausage style <laughs> hot dog. It was a cheddar infused smoky from the Okanagan oh, near Kelowna and, and a, an assortment of he did it two ways so he did one with, with the, the first way I didn't try he did it with like a, uh, like a chili kraut. mayo and like sauerkraut mm -hmm. that he had made for like three hours and I'm kind of bummed I didn't try it Ticket had one of those Ticket actually had both Ticket had everything <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I've eaten a lot this trip yeah, yeah. and then the other one he did a Japanese style so he did it with um, like sriracha mayo with kimchi he did like nori and then like eel sauce on the front and I didn't know if Jet would like it. He said it was one of the better things of the he's best ever things eaten. I've ever eaten, yeah. man. And that is, I was, I was thrilled to see that. It was, it was unbelievable. And then not only that, but then afterwards, we, we thought we were done. Yeah. And then they were like, "Oh, by the way, we have, we have bagels for you." Now, typically bagels come first, but they hit us with the bagels afterwards, and they hit hard too. They had, bagels, they had like uh, fresh flatter. vegetables, fresh lox, right cream cheese. Right yeah. from the garden that Cucumbers, day. Cucumbers, red onion, um, capers. And it was crazy. delicious. Everybody here has put on, what I've noticed is that they, they go above and beyond. Like when you get there, they have your names out on the cards. Yeah. They ask, I feel like when somebody in Canada asks you how you're doing, they genuinely want to know. <laughs> versus in America, they just say, how you doing? And then walk <laughs> past you. That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like here. And the other thing is, what shocked me, and the Canadians obviously were all super nice. There's a lot of non Canadians here. Yeah. I, I I didn't even run into so many Canadians. There's a lot of Australians. There's a lot of um. Well, you know, we're known for that. A lot yeah. of Australians, a lot of Brits. But one thing you will realize if you spend time in Vancouver, it's there's not a typical Canadian. It's it's actually a melting pot. Yeah. So you get a yeah. lot of Chinese. You got a lot of East Indian. You got a lot of all demographics and different ethnicities. And it's it's there's no real prototypical Canadian. It's it's it's. It's kind of like Vancouver is just a complete boiling pot, which is really cool. Can I, can I give you one downside? Yeah. The place closes down at about 10 o'clock p.m. Well, Whistler closes early. Yeah, it was tough. We had Vancouver, one night where we went. We almost went hungry one night. Yeah, we, Whistler's we, a small. We I mean, yeah, we did. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. That was the first. That was the first hungry night I think we've ever had. Yeah. This in group, our lives. This group doesn't go hungry, yeah, do they? Do that, I wasn't bro. really that hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but I was hungry. Tick has been engulfing food this yeah. trip. <laughs> But that's yeah. typical, what you're saying, that's typical of like a ski resort. Like if you were to go to like Aspen or Jackson Hole yeah. or many of those places, by like 10 o'clock, most of the restaurants are closed. I think that's, if you're in Vancouver, you have places that are open till 12, 1 o'clock. Um, so, but yeah, I, I yeah, that was, that was a little It's got bit like small side. town, I mean, it has small town vibes because it is me and the ticket. We're trying to get home the other night and we pulled up Uber and you can't, you can't order an Uber here. So we looked online. There's a special app called, in Vancouver. You can, well, of course, of course, but there's a special app in Whistler called Whistle. <laughs> and me and the ticket whistled on home last night. There's definitely some things that are, are different. Like, um, I've even noticed like, uh, even just from McDonald's, the, I had a breakfast sandwich today. It was like a bagel breakfast sandwich, but it was different than anything I had ever had. Was it decent? It was awesome. Really? The problem is I was eating it during the podcast, so I couldn't really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> and then somebody took my hash brown as well. I, I took that, but only after... <laughs> no, 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 only yeah. after... I ended up eating it because when it was found, you didn't want it. There was an extra oh, hash brown oh, yeah. in my bag at, at that, that I then indicated that was not meant for me. Right. And then I believe it was yours, and then um, we, we gave it to the judge. You yeah. were so disgusted that you couldn't have the hash brown that by the time it was found, you didn't even want it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. what, I, what I started to notice is like, you think like when you're like when you think that you need to eat more food in reality you're full way sooner than you do so that time i was forced to i couldn't have that hash brown because we were doing the podcast and then by the time i was over i was like oh i'm actually full so i feel like that does happen a lot i want to eat so much but then in reality your body's already full to where if you just paused if you just took a time out for like 10 15 minutes you would realize hey believe it or not i'm actually full yeah it's not eating to content. It's eating until you feel sufficient. This is a wild concept you guys are talking about. <laughs> it's true, though. You know how many times you eat we and don't you're do like, that. We overeat. I ate way too much. Yeah. We overeat. Yeah, and we, we will be overeating tonight again with this yeah, Chinese yeah, order. No, we need sure. to make... Let me tell you something. Between... We, we went... We were in Lake Tahoe, right? A week ago. Yes. More than we go. Last Wednesday, mm. we were in oh, Lake Tahoe. God. This is all straight. We went from Lake Tahoe for that weekend to San Diego... Right. Yeah. And then here, and it's just been a nonstop yeah. eating fest. 
Yeah. And we were just starting to make changes, and I think we're all committed. Yeah. I think. I'm ready to go back. Yeah. Yeah. It's. it's I'm ready to it's, go back it's, to it's the light. Brutal. I'm gonna work out tomorrow with Nicole. I say I think. this every fucking time. No, I've been. I, the it's, thing no, is, these you, trips you. bang us. Yeah, I know because we we establish two or three weeks of good, healthy, like eating. Like even Nicole said to me the other day, she's like, "What are you doing with all this McDonald's?" And I, I'm like, "Yeah, well, there was no food after ten. I mean, we were kind of in a predicament." Um, but yeah, it's like you. I, I'm working out, eating better, eating gluten free pasta and salads. And now I'm just dousting myself. I got one of those calls too about the McDonald's <laughs> from my girlfriend. What did she say? Same thing. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> McDonald's every night? Every night? It's a lot. Yeah. It's it's a bit much. Stratsfield Gin brought to you by New Amsterdam. Elevated moment of the week. What was something of the week? That was your favorite thing. What did you really want, like? What was your elevated moment? Um, I could go ahead and yeah, fall you can go. here if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, for me, for sure, was going to Cutsy's family's yeah. house. That yeah. Me, I think that's every yeah. I yeah. really, really look forward to that because knowing Joe for as long as I have and not, I met him briefly when I was working at the hotel, but getting to see what's behind this guy and and his sister was there, Nicole was there. Um. It was just, it, I really, really enjoyed it. I was very much in my element. The food was awesome. I knew that your mom would, would do a whole thing. I mean, the amount of food that they had was, was insane. I just, I was very much in my element there, um, and I thought it was terrific, and it was it was really, really fun um, to meet them. And I just, I love the fact that your dad was wearing a Wisconsin Badger shirt. <laughs> my mom had just, I think my mom or sister just bought it for him, too, so. Oh, that shit. Um, <laughs> okay, over to you. Elevated moment of the week. Um... I that uh that drive from uh from here in Vancouver up to Whistler the that Sea to Sky. Sky Highway was was pretty spectacular. I, I had I had high expectations for that, um, knowing it was gonna be gorgeous, but even re- coming back today, even in the rain, there were some moments that were just like this is just crazy. Yeah. Like it's just a it's just a cool setting with the water and the and the, the mountains kinda meeting. Um glacier water just being that that like really like light green kind of color just super cool i mean i i I don't know if i ever thought i'd be kind of in this part of the world to be honest with you so um it was it was super cool i I enjoyed it a lot you're a scenic guy yeah i I appreciate that stuff yeah as you should jet um okay i mean my moment was also going to your um parents but and obviously like everything was was um, pretty incredible. The courses were unbelievable, and like even like the photos we were getting. To give you a specific moment, I'll tell you the funniest, the the moment I laughed the hardest. It wasn't even like a big moment. It was a little thing. It was quite possibly the funniest thing I've ever heard said on one of these trips. We're we're playing golf with, um, and it's not going to compare because such a small little moment. But we were playing golf with Sarah Winter one of the days. I should say you guys were playing golf with Sarah Winter one of the days, and it kind of this story encompasses just just how fat we are. But we were sitting there. Obviously, we got lunch before we got there. And she came and she sat down and she, uh, they were like, do you want food? She's like, no, I already ate. So she just sat there and watched us eat. Um, and then... That was tough. That was really tough. And then, and then afterwards, we go out to the course and she, she was talking to Prez. And I'm going to try... Like, I'm going to say how I remember it. And she's like, so do you guys ever, like, warm up? And he looks at me and he goes, well... <laughs> We reheat food sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> and I lost my shit. It was just such what a. It bar. was one of the funniest things I've ever heard anybody say. Like in like the moment, like timing the line, it was so fucking funny. So that's that's my moment. Obviously, the bigger picture, like the courses, Cutsy's family, like all that stuff was was amazing. But I was just dying laughing when I heard him say that. Joey <laughs> yeah. D. Um, I mean, all of it. I mean, golfing where I used to play, and and then to have you guys being there and watching some of the shots specifically Perez was making on these courses it's pretty awesome um I would say you know if I had to pick a moment you you know you guys meeting my mom and dad and my family I wish my brother had been there and, and my other sister too so you could have met the whole family but 
I mean, you got a little glimpse into that. But I, I, I'd say since we already chose that, I would say actually a special moment for me because I hype it up all the time was bringing you guys to Tim Hortons for the first time <laughs> when we went into Squamish. I was a little nervous because I was like, you know, I, I've hyped this place up a lot and said how much better than Dunkin' Donuts or anything else that we have in the States. And then it was like the moment was there and we we're like there and we're like, what should we have? Pres like, what should I get to drink? I'm like, frozen lemonade, and it was perfect. And then I told oh, Jet, you need to get an ice cap. And like, it just everybody. And then ticket, I don't know. He 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 panic ordered something, <laughs> and then he, I was gonna do the chili, and he he ended up having my chili, and it just everybody. <laughs> Like loved <laughs> everybody loved Tim Hortons and was like so into it. Jeff was like, I need an ice cap for every day for the rest of my life. So to me, that was very self fulfilling um, because I had hyped it up a bit. Um, the only thing on this trip, I think this trip had everything. I just wish that we would have had more time where I could have kind of shown you through the city of Vancouver and then even shown you and like walked you guys in the daytime through the Whistler Village and like gone up the gondola or done something like that. But like, yeah, man, it was uh, this whole trip was awesome. It was really cool, and to me, it was very um, imminent when we went to Virginia and I got to see Perez's like background and like where he grew up, and like I was like, I have got to take the guys to Canada, and I'm super super stoked we did it because to me, these are two back to back some of the funnest trips that we've had. Um, not that any trip that we go on isn't fun because they all are, but this one this one was super awesome. I had a blast. Yeah, it was good. It, it, it really was. It, and then, you know, now we back it up. Now Europe. Come oh, my now. God, man. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty wild. You got, don't you have, like, you have two trips before we go to Europe. I was just talking to my mom. She was like, <laughs> so where, where are you going to next? So it was Vancouver. Then I'm going to Nantucket. Nantucket. Then to La we're going to Las Vegas. Uh, power slap. Over. I need to go to sleep. Dude. I, I got. I got to sleep for like a week, man. You need to tell your wife that you're going. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tough. One. Oh boy, that's, a, that's, a, that's an in-person conversation. We're not going for long, and you know, two days. You get. I you said get, no. You get an invite like that, you gotta. Yeah, you, we, you gotta we, go. Say Dana White DM me, which I think is awesome, and he said that he wants us to come out to the power slap. And he said we're gonna get the rock star treatment word for word. And if there's a guy that tells you, I said it to you. If there's a guy that tells you he's gonna give you the rock yeah. star treatment, yeah. Dana White's gonna give you the rock star treatment. So yeah. I am so. Pumped. Dana White invites you to Vegas. You, Yo. you go to Vegas, and I'm not. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. This might be the only time in the history of. It's just there's yeah. so much, and I just want to be able to have everything yeah. and more for that Scotland trip. I want to bring it. I, and and you know I part of the thing is too I actually played some better golf this trip which was really refreshing and I just I feel like there's a lot going on and with all the trips and stuff I just need like a little bit of time just to relax. So are you going to be sure. well besides relaxing are you going to be grinding over the next month over over wedge shots at the range here no, in Vancouver? Absolutely okay. not. Okay. Good. Good. I don't want you to have a peace of mind. Are I you going to play up a lot of night golf? gambling? That's you, for sure. Are you going to play a lot of golf? I will play quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll try I like to that. play. I'll try to play a bunch. Yeah. Speaking of playing a lot of golf, we should talk a little bit about the video that we posted last week. Surpri not surprisingly, yeah. I mean, we kind of took a chance on it. It was like a new thing we were doing, or, and it is going off. So it's pretty it's exciting, an awesome and it's concept. like, cool. see, we, did, we ran another one back, and this is the, you know, how many holes it takes us to, f takes you guys to shoot a certain score, and it's being received pretty well. Yeah, I, we knew it would, the thing is, we really, we were, for some, there was something about it, I think it's just the idea was so cool that we knew that it was going to do well. Like we had a, we had a, well, I shouldn't yeah. say we knew, but we had a really good feeling that it was going to do well, and, and it, it made all the more reason to run it back. I think it's an awesome video. Yeah, was, I mean, it was a, uh, a follower DM yeah. me yeah. that. I, um, so, I mean, it's a, a, cool, a cool idea. I mean, it obviously has been doing well. Longer video. It's cooler for us to watch, and hopefully people enjoy more, you know. Um, and uh, we found out that it was... Received well, and you know, well quickly enough to get another one filmed up here, which which will be dope. I think we got some really good videos on this trip. We got a couple yeah, bangers, I and I think now we're even looking at like we really are thinking a lot harder about what what videos we're making yeah. and how they're going to be received slash doing new sh stuff that people haven't done to differentiate ourselves. Um, and obviously, like you know, everybody does crazy videos, but 
I think we're we're about to hit a nice a nice street. Stonkyville. Yeah, I think we're headed to Stonkyville. <laughs> and I'm Are excited. you the mayor? I am now. Yeah, I haven't been. Uh, How's that? Been? We don't really good with it. I'm really good with with switching it up, and I, I think it's hopefully it's it's been refreshing. Also, too, we have some bangers for prior that we're still lucky. I know. We still have a good good video. We do. That, do we yeah. really? We do. We have, <laughs> yeah. speed, we have a speed golf. We have a speed yeah. Golf. Oh, tanks. that's gonna do really well. We've the speed got, golf. Uh, we've got uh, Lauren Coughlin, LPGA. Yep. Lauren. Yeah. That's coming. That's coming this week. We have trying to, there's a fi, there's a ticket appearance and a five man oh, scramble. Oh, sick! Um, the with the big debut. Puppy, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> he's on one right now, dude. I think he's gas. This is the end of the trip. I'm ticket. Sorry, I'm real yeah. tired. Dude, I'm I was my sitting, rope here. when we were driving back. I was sitting in the back of the van. And I was just kind of looking. I was like, we really are like a band. I know. Yeah, like yeah. we're like a tra traveling. Like we're just band. traveling in our in our tour bus. Also Broken down as, tour bus. Yeah, in our tour bus, and we just like came off like. It's 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 a crazy. If you really think about it, it's pretty nuts. I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's like we're just like on the road doing our thing. Come home, sleep for a little bit, like get back to the grind, and then meet up again and run it back. I just think it's so funny when we all pile into the van. I just I find it so funny. Sometimes <laughs> I just like look around and, and just like kind of like, look at everybody and just start like giggling to myself. How the fuck did we get here? Yeah, yeah we've done really that a lot of times. True, dude. Me and me and FP were in the cart the other day, and we're like. What is like? What are we doing? Like, how did this happen? <laughs> we were driving like we're through the thankful. fairway. Yeah, it's a moment of of appreciation, I think. Yeah, That's and cool. a, but also in like a what in God's yeah, God's like when is like right who's now? gonna like snatch this? Like it was yeah. it was just pretty... good to remember that because like at the end of the trip, sometimes you're so tired. Oh yeah, and yeah. you're like I'm bagged, and it's like yeah, well, we got to golf. Correct. Four the best incredible ever, rounds in Whistler in the last four days, like you know. That's that's kind of a, a blessing. I would know? put our I, I objectively speaking, I, I think you guys I, and myself and th I think we have the best life ever. I think yeah, like yeah. if you take a step back and you're like tell any yeah. person what we do, they'd be like, oh, that's that's the greatest life ever. I ain't going back to the Four Seasons. Yeah. I'll die before I do it. I can't go back to. I ain't going back to work, dude. But yeah, I I totally, I, of course. Of course, Although today totally... we got pissed on. I mean, some yeah yeah. Today yeah. some Bob weeks was sixty hours and stuff. Yeah. Grinding in Excel, like <laughs> deadlines and financial statements. And when we went back to your office, was it surreal for you, like having us there, like, yeah, and, like I talking think to all the people you guys there and talking to them? I think so. Just because that's sort of where it, it's like where I kind of, I wouldn't say first met you guys, but sort of. Yeah. Um, I go, I do go back in there from time to time. It's not like the first time I'd ever been back. Oh, really? You just pop by? Yeah, I mean, really? I, I worked with those people for a long time. Those are my friends. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> cool. The, I like that. I, I, I stopped yeah. I like that. I didn't know, because I can't imagine it's every place. T-shirt and yeah. flip-flops and like a like a golf tan. No, I so, totally yeah, I think get that. going in here, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just got up, decided to go get some lunch. Yeah. Might go catch nine. I don't know, might not. I was asking FP in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking him about his old job about, about how like what type of guy he was at the office and he was like you know I used to like talk people up and all that I was like oh because you were like you know you wanted to like get the promotion or you wanted to like you know get a raise or get this he's like no nah, I just didn't want to start working <laughs> he's like yeah. I would just like Come walk up to people and just talk to him as yeah. much as I can yeah. just kind of punting out when, when I actually sat down and got going for the day I'm kind of one of those guys like I get moving on something I'm, I'm like I kind of I kind of keep going I don't I'm not like an up and down kind of guy um, but I push that start off as far as I can you, uh, yeah you, too, you could play like if you needed to play the corporate game you could play that easily yeah you, I mean, could, you could schmooze some public accounting I mean that's that's as <laughs> corporate as it gets in some ways so I just happen to be able to get every time we talk about visiting the press office press was telling me that uh, that sometimes during lunch you would go get lunch and then he would go to Dairy Queen, and he would show back up to the office with like a blizzard oh, <laughs> at lunchtime. And I just think of him strutting through the office with a blizzard. Oh, and him, like yeah. that's unheard of. It's, it's got a, a couple, very painful picture. Got a couple laughs with that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like something where like somebody like has to say so you can't look at a guy walking through. Cubicle. Yeah, like a a, a one fifteen <laughs> in the afternoon Wednesday <laughs> work blizzard. <laughs> I don't have the pride to do it. You know what I mean? Bob and I were on the we were on the, the fairway the other day. We were in the cart 
and Perez was doing something and saying something to the camera, and he looks over me, he's like, where in God's name do we find these guys? And I was like, I don't know, but could, I couldn't imagine a world without without Perez, or Jet, or Ticket, or like, oh, we, we really, really are, we and need each other, man. Yeah. I can't wait to... Uh Till we drive like a like a, a minivan again, like a, a, yeah. a normal, oh, like a normal God, car. God, man, um, this uh, <laughs> we, we had a lot of room in this large yeah. van of ours. Um, it's like a shuttle. Things went very well with it until we got to get it on the table. They didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to? I think you should. Yours, you think it's okay? I mean, well, we'll always... find out. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> So was it the second day in Whistler? Second day. Yeah. So we get we got here in Vancouver. Everything's fine. Uh, driving around for a while, a couple days. Drive up there. Everything's fine. Um, this one golf course. The main way you get into it is under uh, like an overpass through a tunnel, which is um, I guess a shorter, you know, eight a, a, feet. I don't. I didn't. I didn't even look at the number. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, as I'm approaching the tunnel. I've never in my life considered whether I can enter a tunnel reasonably. So I just go into this tunnel, and um, the uh, van that we were driving was taller than the tunnel. <laughs> and, um, you know, the, the van and the tunnel met in the, met in the A gap, and the it tunnel Ray won. Lewis. The tunnel won. The beauty of it, I mean, the, the car was... There's mm. significant, significant <laughs> damage. I don't There's think we can <laughs> understate <laughs> how much damage there is. There was water there. leaking no. in through my yeah, seat. Yeah, it rained today for the first time, and uh, <laughs> it really highlighted the extent of the roof damage. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the there was people like, on the other side of the tunnel that saw us coming through. They were waiting for us to come. Yeah, two well, of before, them were yeah. just like this, like... And we thought that they recognized <laughs> Perez driving the reality. They saw Perez was about to try and go through. But I think it was the course pro and the GM. He told me that they were waiting outside and they heard just the screech. Mm. Of the I will tunnel. never get that sound out of my Dude, head. Dude, it was, it was a crunch. And it was the, crumpled. The guy turns to the other guy. Yeah, the guy turns to the other guy and he's like, that's them. They're here. <laughs> I, and he was right. Oh. We there. And then a guy chased after us, and he was holding a rear tail light or something that was yeah. broken Total off the back of the thing. <laughs> he gave it to Tick. He gave it to me, and he was like, I "Hope you got insurance." <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we got to give them a call. The, the, oh. Yeah, they texted me a second ago. Oh no! <laughs> Live call. It's confirming the pickup tomorrow. Oh. So we went through the. You know, if we'd <laughs> gone through like a oh. normal rental car agency and gotten insurance, I wouldn't be nearly as. As bummed out about this, but this is like a kind of person to person van rental. More of a mom and pop shop. And uh, this is going to be a tough, this is going to be a tough one. The best part, too, is, I mean, it's going to be tough. Perez isn't even going to be there to return to the flight. So we have to go. And oh, we no. To, which is going to be brutal. Bang job. So, yeah, that, that should be interesting. And of course, it really is sick too, and it, when we were going through the tunnel, like when it started scratching, and I realized what was happening. I smacked Avery on the shoulder and told him to start filming. I know you're sick, so dude. That we could get, while it was going on, I you're smacked. Sick. You got a great video. That's why. That's why, man. And then there's, there's... we entered that tunnel. <laughs> And we heard the damage being done, and you came to a screeching halt halfway through the tunnel. Yeah. And we weren't stuck, but you just realized at one point, <laughs> gotta we just got to keep going. <laughs> yeah. So when the screeching, the, the crumbling of the top of the van started up again, and the look on your face, sort of the way it is now. <laughs> and I haven't got it. Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> and it was just, it. It's he like, gunned it. I, was being, I, was really, I thought maybe the whole yeah. roof would have come The van was off. being held. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. The guy told me that it's not the first time this has ever happened, um, that a, a van, a similar van, had, had actually gotten stuck. Oh, and yeah, what my. they had to do was they had to let out all the air in the tires, oh. and, then they had to, and then they had to get 20 people in the van to weigh it down even more to be able to drive <laughs> drive the thing out of the tunnel. Oh, yeah. my God. When we God. came to a stop, so I probably went in there at about 25 miles an hour, I would say, and... Um, so I stopped as quickly as I could in realization what was happening, but it it, hit, it it crossed my mind once I stopped that like I might not that might not have been the right move, like I I'm not sure if I should have stopped. 
<laughs> he, so he gunned it. So I, yeah, I was like, I got to gun this. Because I, I gave it the normal gas. She wasn't moving too good, so I gave it a little extra. <laughs> and, uh, also, too, it was really, like ripping the Band-Aid off, too, like the one that you were talking about, too, like when he was in the middle of it. it. It was kind of like he just wanted to get it over. At that point, mm. it's like, just gun it, too, to get it over with. So many people around. And it was such a scene. It was such a scene. So many people around. Uh, no, that's the same day we, not to, not to change it, but we saw, that was the same course we saw our first bear on. True. Yeah. Yeah, Which I was, I was starting to get. Yeah, I was a little nervous to see the bear, but Cutsy was here. Oh, because we had a whole bunch of donuts. Oh yes, that and that was, was yes, yes. Cutsy, Cutsy, the whole time was talking about though, before we got here, how bears are no worries, no issues, no nothing. And I was, I was nervous, but he was right. They didn't get. They just walked past you. Yeah, I, and people weren't like people really didn't change anything. They just kept golfing. They really didn't. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't care. Bother him. Um, <laughs> oh, buddy! Here, put it over here. Did somebody gotta... <laughs> order chat? <laughs> Damn, um, a- Avery! I got some bad news for you. Good news or bad news? Um, I have Popeyes being delivered. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! It's about five minutes away from the lobby. Do you think you would yeah. perhaps be able to? <laughs> yeah. I'm that poor guy has just to bang ass. job. I'm sorry. He banged him. I'm sorry. That's insane. Well, yeah, it's not good. Squad. I get up. If you want to come sit here, I'll go get it. I don't know. All right. Before we dig into that ch- Chinese food, I, I do want to do a... Uh, we got... This is new to the podcast here. I don't know if we're going to do it every episode. We'll, we'll get it figured out, but I do like it. Um, Q&A segment here. The Big Ticket's going to read off a couple questions. We'll answer them. Well, these are fan, they're fan submitted. Yeah. 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 Fan submitted through Instagram. Yeah. Um, Q&A. Perfect. Uh, let's start with Nicole underscore Nikki underscore S. She says to each guy, what is your favorite thing about Bob Does Sports and your group? Damn. Let me start. Um, well, for me personally, I get to play golf for a living, which was a dream of mine as a child um, in a different way. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I'm, I'm playing golf. Uh, it's even better. I'm playing golf with, with friends of mine. Traveling the country, traveling the world, um, and you know I'm doing it with with guys that uh, I'd go to bat for and don't have to apologize for, and uh, genuinely, you know, we we generally all genuinely all watch out for each other and care about each other, defend each other. Um, a, you know, Avery just went down to get my Uber Eats. That's a <laughs> that's qu- that's quintessential Bob to sports right there. Yeah. Next man up mentality. Yeah. Was um, that was that a real thing? That's or did a real you just th- want to re remind him <laughs> to start? <laughs> no, 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 no. You got time. He's you going got time. You got time. Did you He's not going, see him damn, move? Dog. Damn, dog. Damn. I didn't mean to do that. Poor guy, man. <laughs> damn. Damn, I that was not part of the plan. I, it was an example. Tough draw. <laughs> just on the, it's on the front of my mind. Uh, that'll be it for me. <laughs> Gotta get the Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I want to try and not reiterate everything, President. Um, but yeah. it is true. I mean, that would absolutely be my favorite thing is just how close of a crew it is and how well everybody gets along and each piece to the puzzle. You have to have it, and we really don't get sick of each other at all. Like, yeah, we'll scrap, you know, chirp at each other a little bit, but we really don't ever get tired of each other. Um, it, it's so much fucking fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, that's the honest answer is just how close we all are is, is the best part to me. I love doing it. I don't get tired of it ever. Um, yeah, I would say the same thing. I think it's like the camaraderie. Like I didn't know when I moved here to do the job, I didn't know, like I thought we were going to be friends. I knew we'd be friends, but I didn't realize how tight all of us would become. Like I wasn't Mm -hmm. sure. And I, I don't know if like the first week I was here, I was like, we were like feeling each other out a little bit. And then once we like hung out, it was like, we were just best friends. So I think it's the, I mean, obviously everything around it is amazing, but I think it's the camaraderie and like not, I didn't know how tight everyone was going to be. And the fact that we're all like super tight, I think is, is the best part. Uh, For me, I'd, I'd I'd recap everything they said. I, I, I think another element too is being able to like some of the people that we get to meet and the places that we get to go and the experiences like like working with Callaway and some of these it's just like stuff that you don't even think is a possibility and then it's right on your front door and it's like oh my god this playing golf with Josh Allen and doing so it's just like it's super yeah. cool and it's like it, it just it just makes me wonder like what's around the next corner what's the next step what's the next big thing that we're gonna do and what 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 do we have in store for us so it's very exciting in many ways and it's like 
Bob and I, especially when we first started like trying to like talk about, you know, doing videos and making this, it's very fulfilling as well, I think, because when you believe in something, you believe in something that you want to do and that you're passionate about and you think that you can do it, it's easy to say, but when you actually see it happen, it's like, not that we're anybody, but it's just, it's very fulfilling that this is what we get to do for our lives and we made it happen and it's, it's super cool, it's super exciting and I, I just I just don't want it to end. I just want to keep yeah. the ride. You know, it's like we're on. It's like we're a surfer and we got that big wave that we're riding. And we just don't want to crash down anytime you soon. Know you know, my favorite story. I mean, I don't want to interrupt the segment. But when we were driving to San Diego, Cutsy was telling me a story. And I never heard this. You never told me it. And I don't know if it's if we could say. I'm sure we could say yeah. it. But he was talking about when you were at the hotel and you used to tell people, like you were doing the social media and he was in and there was somebody at the hotel who said like. He, he would call it dreamland what you guys are trying to do yeah. so cutsy was telling me that oh, yeah. you always talked about when you would get an office you would put up like a sign that said dreamland or something i love that shit like that's my it's i so love cool. that when he did say that he caught we were at a real low moment too when things were really really bad and that whole the situation that we had going right uh yeah, that it, it came at a really bad time so i remember us being so pissed off from it um yeah Pretty wild. Um, Dick, you got to get that before we go to the next question. Um, everything these guys have said. And the food. <laughs> <laughs> the abundance oh, of food. The food. <laughs> he's the hottest. He's, a, he's hotter than anybody out here, dude. <laughs> he's so good. And he knows when the camera goes. He's so... It's it's crazy. You're on, on a, fire. On a real note, though, it's uh, everything these guys said. and uh, Well, the food is a real note. But beyond that, um, what job do you get to spend... All the time with your best friends, you know, once a month special. for a week, get to hang out with your best friends, not just on the golf course, but hanging out like a sleepover in an Airbnb, ordering food, watching TV, cracking jokes. It's, it's the best. I mean, some people who do one week out of the year or one weekend out of yeah, the year, yeah, we get true. to do one week every month. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's dreamland. Wow. wow. Tick. All right, Tick. Um, yeah, let's do one more. Florian Wade. Uh, when will Cutsy strap on the goalie pads for an episode of him on the ice in the net? Okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, I guess we're facing this. It. Uh, we actually talked about this um, for a long time. The off season, um, and I think it's really doable. We know the, yes. we know Gordon from the social media from the Golden Knights, and we've talked to him about it. And, you know, I know Shea Theodore and Mark Stone. We know Jack Eichel and a bunch of the Golden Knights who just so happened to be the Stanley Cup champions right now, and they had talked about doing a thing where I would go on their practice practice arena and on the ice, and they would shoot on me for an episode. So that's kind of scary, because I haven't been on the ice in a long time. I, I still have all my old pads at home. My mom keeps saying she's going to throw the stuff out, and I just keep telling her, you know, eventually I'll get back out there, and I haven't. But I do think that, you know, to fulfill the Bob does sports thing, it kind of would be funny to do some of these, like getting Bob in a batting cage with like AJ mm. Minter throwing the ball at him, or like me on the ice, or Perez doing literally anything. I think so. I think it'd be so funny if um, if we're on the ice and like oh, you or skating, just up ripping one timers at him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we're putting a lot, I mean, we're starting. We didn't talk about, it, but this, I mean, we've talked about it for a long time. But we're putting in more stuff now that, you know, we took Avery was here and he filmed a ton of stuff that wasn't right. golf related. So it yeah. fits right into that. Um, you were a goalie? I mean, I knew that, but you know, they say goalies are a little yeah, cuckoo. It fits the mold. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, this comes you from RZL93. Um, why does Ticket never wear shorts? <laughs> <laughs> Do we get to, can we all answer first? Go for it. Go for it. I'm kidding. I know, I know. I'll I'm take kidding. this one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Short and simple. Shorts look ridiculous on men. Whoa! Shorts look ridiculous on men unless you're going to the gym or getting in some sort of body of water. I'll stand by that to the rest of my life. <laughs> it's they look ridiculous. Put pants on. Cover those thighs up. Cover those calves up. It's unbelievable. Why? But it's what if it's hot outside? Suck it up. You're telling me the reason. <laughs> that's so you're telling true. me the reason you wear pants is because men should not no, wear shorts. No, he's got pasty skin. He doesn't I'm saying this is a cover up. You're literally this is this is this is a cash grab. Allergic to the sun. This is a cash grab. That alabaster skin of yours. This is this is fake news. This is not true. I think a grown man, when you're past the age of eleven, you you shouldn't be 
wearing you shouldn't be showing off the calves. I just think it looks I think it's a ridiculous look. <laughs> Where did you hear this from? Where did you come it's up with it? It's my own opinion. That I, I nurtured, I planted the seed, I put water on it and grew into a fantastic opinion. I, I mean, I fair enough. I've I respect the opinion. I've seen shorts maybe never, once. Never. I've seen it. There's if a I video. Get, you know where you wore shorts? When you hit that shot at uh, in Jupiter. That's when true. Me oh. That's a huge mistake. But you look good, dude. <laughs> you can get mistake. tan. You look good. Wild. Take it my own opinion. One pair. How many pairs of shorts do you actually own? I owe a couple pairs of uh, basketball shorts for the gym and one pa one swimsuit. Do you have, like, jean shorts? No, jean shorts. That's that's taking shorts to a but whole yeah. other Come on, shorts. <laughs> well, take the shorts. You typically cover up up top. Ticket would be the kind of guy to wear jeans. That's true. Well, that's because I used to have a lot of great shirts. I used to love wearing like I had uh, cool aesthetic. I think I've gotten so fat that the only thing that covers <laughs> up how fat I look are sweatshirts. That's fair. I know it. That's fair, oh, dude. That's the worst. He You're loves the cutest. himself. He's the cutest. Cutest. I'm dying up top. You gotta learn to love yourself. <laughs> you gotta learn to love yourself, man. Yeah. Oh, duh. Uh, Big is beautiful. Let's do one, one more. more. One more. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. <laughs> Why does uh, it? This comes from Burnham underscore golf. If you guys all met today without knowing each other prior, do you think you'd connect like you do now? Oh, I think Jet would kill all of us. No, I don't. I. That's an impossible You mean question. without without knowing, like... <laughs> I think me and you would for sure. Like yeah. maybe if we all just showed up at a golf course as a single. I, I yes, just, that's a great. That's, that's a, a great. great oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good, good way to put it. I would put it this way. I, I would say <laughs> that's a great question. I, I'd put it this way. Jet and Perez, and this is not a bad thing. I think would be fine. Joe, you have to really understand Joe. To once you understand Joe and you and you get it, you're the biggest Joe advocate of all time. But there is a feeling out process with Joe where you got you got to figure him out. So I think by the end of 18, if it's the golf thing, for sure. But I think a lot of people, not that you ever come off as an asshole, but they just don't understand you necessarily. What does he say so, about me, dude? I'm pretty sure if I saw, if I played golf with Joe and some of the way he acts around his golf game, I feel like I'd feel the same way what you're describing. Yeah, I, it would I would be, it would be that a, too. It would be a little bit of like if I didn't know what is this thing, guy? I'd what be is, like, I can't. What I, is this I, yeah. guy's deal? Yeah. Like, yeah. Here's the thing what with is my he, golf why is he game expecting is that, this, and and he's here's the thing with me is that I'm very hard on myself, but I love to praise and like uplift it's other true. people yeah, for sure. when they make yes. good shots. So I feel like even if I was like, and 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 I think I do it more when I am comfortable with the people that I'm around. Like if I was a single and didn't know anybody, I would probably be swearing wearing underneath my breath, but I don't know if I'd be as like animated as I am with you guys because I'm more comfortable with you. But I know for a fact if I was playing with press, I'd be like, oh my God, what a shot. Oh, you're, yeah, you're like I would definitely be singing praises. And, and and well I, the first time you met you met him, what were you thinking? At the, I mean, at the desk. Quick. Yeah. It, I, we we hit it off. Oh okay. Quick. Well, there you yeah, go. For sure. Um but one of my favorite things to do is to watch somebody who doesn't know you, to watch somebody meet you, and then, <laughs> watch, and then when I go and play golf with them, I, I will watch how that's developing. That's and crazy, dude. It's fascinating to watch that. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, you're great with that. You get people involved, you're really good. Um, but yeah, once you break through and you understand Joe, you'll go to war for him, and he'll do the same for you and beyond. Um, but yeah, that that's, that's what I would say, and that's not a bad thing. Um, <laughs> I would probably... I think Jet was just extraordinarily slow. <laughs> are you talking about are you talking about my golf game or my brain? My golf yeah, game, dude. Yeah. I used to play. Oh, I know that's a shot. No. I, I, I know it is. I used to play a single when I would play like by myself or be paired up. I would just be quiet and hit my shot and say good shot. I'll say I I agree with them. I I, I would be a little alarmed by him. I think we would. <laughs> bad, I think here, we man. would. We would get along. Me and you are very similar. We're very different, but we're also yeah. very similar. Like, you know. At our core, but but and you two, we would just like chill. Like I don't think yeah. it would be it would be an issue. But yeah, I'll take I'll Bob, take, you I'll take the that. Hit. First round of golf we ever played together. Yeah, of course, the Red Rocket at R Rancho Park. I'll never forget. Bob was like, "I'm just warning you right now, out of the gates, I am trash." And I was like, "Okay, well that's fine. Like it, you know, I'm not very good myself." He's like, "No, I'm bad." And then he proceeded to take what looked like the nicest practice swing yeah, of all fucking time. And practice, I looked so. at him and I'm like, He's "Dude, your player. swing is beautiful." I was like, "Your swing is ten times nicer than mine." And then he put the ball there, and it was like whatever he did on the practice swing, it was like 
completely different. And it was a, just a whirlwind. I almost hit a car. I'll never. <laughs> yeah. never he cleared the fence on Rancho and almost nailed a car in the yeah, parking man. lot. Not much has changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, gang. Darn. Um, that does. I like the Q and A. I think we all. I think we keep oh, yeah, this going. Yeah, yeah, for absolutely. next time we should keep um, it going. Yeah, I like it a lot. I would love an episode of just that. Just that. Yeah, that yeah, should be an episode. Yeah. Just forty-five yeah. minutes of just Q and A. We could yeah. do two hours. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. The tell all. Yeah. Yeah. You tell us what to, you, you you prompt us. Dictate what you want. You call the shots, ladies and gentlemen. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. That's been another edition of the Podcast. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.